All right, guys, so finally I'm in Turkey. I've been wanting to come here for so long, and my main reason to come here is uh, the famous movie Troy. I was a, such a biggest fan since I was a kid, I think from the school. That was the first time I watched it. And then after that, I watched it, I think, more than 10 times already. So I really wanted to come here to see that um, the Troy horse and then an ancient city. And I'm kind of impressed of this. Look at that, that's all real. And I can really clearly imagine how all the horses were running here, like people doing the pottery, constructing all of the structures. It's really amazing. This is the city in the east south of Turkey. It took us like three hours from Chankale by highway between the mountains. It was a bit slow, but fine, fine. We're here finally, and we are in this park. It's huge. Do you see all these high palm trees? This is like VDNG in Kiev or Moscow. Lots of pavilions of different countries, and that's my cute sister Angelica. What do you Hi. think about this place? I like it so much, and this is a lot of uh, places for take amazing pictures. Yeah, because she's a model, right? <laughs> and as you see, the sea is not really calm. It's kind of a bit of stormy because of the wind. I want to swim! <laughs> yeah, we're looking for the beach, but there is no beach here. You, can, you should only drive. You can't really walk here. And I kind of like this seashore. You can see people here chilling on the grass. It's uh, 4 million people here and it's the third city in Turkey is the size. And do you see those skyscrapers? I was actually surprised to see it here. It's kind of tall, just like in Dubai or maybe in the States. It's not so many of them, but we decided to walk all the way there, even though we didn't think it's going to be that far. But we're almost there. And I think it's going to be something like malls or the shopping centers or maybe the office buildings. We can check it out. Hotel where we stay, it's called uh, something I cannot pronounce. Park Hotel. It's called Boutique Hotel because all the floors and all the all the rooms are designed by some designers, and I really like the interiors here. And also the thing here, that's the parking. It's the elevator or like a lift, so you can park in, and then your car is gonna go up, and then hide somewhere inside.
far, this is the best hotel I have stayed in, and what I like the most here is the breakfast. I think I got like three kilograms already on my weight because of all this sweet cheese, honey, and the nuts. I really like it here, and it's so quiet and private, and the rooms are nice. The, the design here is actually good, that's why it's a boutique hotel. And the location here is the best, it's just in the center of the city, next to the train station, and quite close to the coastline. It was built in 1901 and some of the part of this tower was built on the expenses of this mere people and we have the same the same model of this tower in our hotel but much smaller this one's huge and what i like here actually as well it's there are so many flags it feels like turkish people are kind of real patriots It's a national holiday today in Turkey and we decided to go to the market because it's too hot for the beach yet. Uh, so this market is huge. You can walk here for the whole day. What did you, what did you find already? I bought three t-shirts. What else are you looking for? Um, you can find this everything. Like uh, clothes, shoes, uh, sweets and uh, something you want. Yeah, everything. Like for the kitchen, for the interiors. Any kind of food, sweets, even medicine, the clothes, the shoes, and spices. Actually, I want to look for tea and coffee. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah? so much there is so much good food uh, the traditional specialty here is the bulgur it's something like a rice but i think it's more healthier and also kebab which is this one and they serve with lots of salads lots of onion pepper also the pita bread and the salad which comes usually for free same as water cultural park there are a lot of uh, installations and sculptures and what I like about this one they even brought this kind of uh, piece of marble I think this could be a nice sculpture in the future so it will be used by some of the artists To, what to see in Izmir and then I found this cool spot it's called Jewish district or Jewish area and it's so nice here because you can take the elevator all the way going up because the city here is located on the hills and uh, it's so hard to to walk if you live on top of it it's really high I think it looks like more than 10 floors of the building
decided not to go all the way out because it's gonna be too tiring and then even though we had lots to eat and I think that street would be a nice nice area for the girls who want to have a nice butt or firm muscles of the legs so it's not bad especially if it's not too hot like now it's about it's about 9 p.m. so it's just perfect, perfect to walk around even though we just got lost and we don't know where to go but I think we're gonna go somewhere to the center of the city that way Sister, we decided to give them the gift, but not we didn't want to make it like a surprise or like sort of souvenir or something. Since we both love photography, we decided to give them a gift and uh, like what a should like a love story. Should look at this couple. Right? Oh, yeah, it's so sweet. Thank mm -hmm. you. 